Rocket Man, officially titled Rocket Man, I think it's going to be a long, long time, is a song composed by Elton John and Bernie Taupin and originally performed by Elton John. The song first appeared on Elton John's 1972 album Honky Chateau and became a hit single, rising to number two in the UK and number six in the US. On 5 October 2018, the song was certified gold by the British phonographic industry for sales of 400,000 digital downloads. The song was certified three times platinum in US as well. Rolling Stone lists it as number 245 of its 500 greatest songs of all time. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Song information. The song was inspired by the short story, The Rocket Man in The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury, and echoes the theme of David Bowie's 1969 song, Space Oddity. Both recordings were produced by Gus Dudgeon. But according to an account in Elizabeth Rosenthal's book His Song, The Musical Journey of Elton John, the song was inspired by Taupan's sighting of either a shooting star or a distant aeroplane. The song describes a Mars-bound astronaut's mixed feelings at leaving his family in order to do his job. Rosenthal's account goes on to relate that the notion of astronauts no longer being perceived as heroes, but in fact as an everyday occupation, led Taupin to the song's opening lines. She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. Musically, the song is a highly arranged ballad anchored by piano, with atmospheric texture added by synthesizer played on the recording by engineer Dave Henschel and processed slide guitar. It is also known for being the first song in John's catalogue to feature what would become the signature backing vocal combination of his band at the time, D. Murray, Nigel Olsen and Davey Johnston. Rocket Man was ranked number 242 in the 2004 list of Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Songs of All Time, though it dropped to number 245 in the list's 2010 revision. Another song called, Rocket Man, and also based on Bradbury's short story, The Rocket Man, was released by the musical group Pearls Before Swine on their 1970 album The Use of Ashes. In an interview in Billboard magazine, Taupin acknowledged that the song, written by Tom Rapp, had been a direct inspiration for his own lyrics. Rosenthal's account indicates that Rapp's lyrics were inspired by the writings of noted science fiction author Ray Bradbury. Due to some similarities in Elton John's Rocket Man, some presume this song might also be an allusion to David Bowie's character Major Tom. Bowie himself made the connection during live performances of Space Oddity, in which he called out, Oh, Rocket Man. The first stanza of Rocket Man was thought of by Bernie Taupin while he was on the motorway heading to his parents' home. He had to repeat it to himself for two hours, which was unfortunate. But in later interviews, he said that since it gave him a hit, it was all worthwhile. The song has been a staple of John's concerts. Among numerous other performances, John played Rocket Man at the launch site of Space Shuttle Discovery in 1998. The song includes the line, quote, quote, and I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. Quote, dot. The phrase, high as a kite, is a common idiom often used to refer to intoxication due to recreational drug use, typically cannabis. Although it is not generally assumed that lyricist Bernie Taupin intended the double entendre, the song was written and released during the era of stoner culture and could be interpreted as an allusion to such activity. <laughs> <laughs> Music video In May 2017, an official music video for Rocket Man premiered at the Cannes Film Festival as a winner of Elton John, The Cut, a competition organized in partnership with AKQA, Pulse Films, and YouTube in honor of the 50th anniversary of his songwriting relationship with Bernie Taupin. 
The competition called upon independent filmmakers to submit treatments for music videos for one of three Elton John songs from the 1970s, with each song falling within a specific concept category. Rocket Man was designated for the animation category, and was co-directed by Iranian refugee Majid Aden and Irish animation director Stephen McNally. The video was inspired by Aden's own migration to England, portraying a character envisioning himself as an astronaut to draw parallels between the song's lyrics and the experiences of a refugee. Topic track listing All songs written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin in 2003, Universal Records released both a 12-inch vinyl promotional only and CD maxi single with three new remixes of the song, A Rocket Man KDME Remix 420B1. Rocket Man 03 401B2. Rocket Man Royal Gardens Radio Mix 419 of these, Rocket Man 03 was also included on the Rocket Island Mercury EP remixed along with four other remixes of Elton recordings. Topic personnel Elton John, piano, lead vocals Davy Johnston, electric slide and acoustic guitars, backing vocals Dee Murray, bass guitar, backing vocals Nigel Olsen, drums, backing vocals David Henschel, ARP synthesizer. Topic. Charts Topic Kate Bush version Kate Bush released a cover of Rocket Man in 1991 as part of the Elton John – Bernie Taupin tribute album Two Rooms, celebrating the songs of Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Her reggae-inflected version of Rocket Man was a commercial success, reaching number 12 on the UK singles chart and number 2 in Australia held off the top spot by Julian Lennon's Saltwater. In 2007, the track won the Observer Readers Award for Greatest Cover of All Time. The B-side of the single was Bush's recording of another Elton John classic, Candle in the Wind, from the age of 11, Elton John was my biggest hero. I loved his music, had all his albums and I hoped one day I'd play the piano like him I still do. When I asked to be involved in this project and was given the choice of a track it was like being asked would you like to fulfill a dream? Would you like to be Rocket Man? Yes, I would. Topic: Track listings. All songs written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Seven Inches Vinyl Cassette Single. Twelve Inches Vinyl CD Single. Topic: Personnel. All titles Kate Bush, Keyboards, Vocals, Producer Del Palmer, Engineer Additional Musicians on Rocket Man Davy Spillane, Illan Pipes Del Palmer, Bass Alistair Anderson, Concertina Charlie Morgan, Drums Alan Murphy, Guitar Topic. Charts Topic. David Fonseca version The Portuguese singer David Fonseca released his version of the song as a single in Portugal reaching number 12 in the Portuguese Top 20. The song, full title, Rocket Man I Think It's Going To Be A Long, Long Time also appears on David Fonseca's third album Dreams in Color released in 2007 and on the Dreams in Color, tour edition released in 2008. The music video was directed by David Fonseca himself. Fonseca also regularly performs the single live in his concerts. Topic. Chart performance Topic. Other cover versions At the 5th Saturn Awards Ceremony, which aired as the Science Fiction Film Awards in January 1978, Taupin introduced William Shatner's spoken word interpretation of the song. 
It used chroma key video techniques to simultaneously portray three different images of Shatner, representing the different facets of the Rocket Man's character. The performance built up a cult following, and was parodied on the U.S. animated series Animaniacs, Family Guy, Freakazoid, Futurama, The Simpsons, the Canadian CGI series Reboot, and in the video for Where It's At by Beck. On a 1992 episode of Late Night with David Letterman, Chris Elliott parodied Shatner's performance, complete with chroma key effects. Shatner re recorded the song for his 2011 album, Seeking Major Tom. In his book What Were They Thinking? The 100 Dumbest Events in Television History, author David Hofstad ranked Shatner's performance at number 17 on the list. In 1997 Me First and the Gimme Gimme's featured a punk rock version of the song on their debut album Have a Ball. Daphne Rubin Vega released a dance version in 2003, which reached the club play charts. In 2009, rock musicians Maynard James Keenan of Tool and Stephen Drozd of The Flaming Lips collaborated on a cover version for the musical documentary film The Heart is a Drum Machine, and while both musicians appeared in the film, the cover song did not. It was made available online in 2010. In 2018, rapper Young Thug prominently sampled Rocket Man in his song High, as featured on his EP on the RVN. John, a fan of Young Thugs, gave his approval for the song in 2016. Topic: Use in media. Rocket Man has been featured in several films and television series. Notable uses in cinema include the 1996 action film The Rock, Disney's 1997 comedy film Rocketman, the 1998 biography film Without Limits, the science fiction film K Pax, the 2017 action spy comedy Kingsman, The Golden Circle, which also stars John as himself, and the closing credits of The Astronaut Farmer. 2007. In the episode, The Friendship Contraction. Of The Big Bang Theory season 5, aired 2012, Howard Wolowitz fails to get the title as his nickname before flying into space. The song was also played during the 40th and 45th anniversaries of the Apollo 11 moon landing and the day after the death of Neil Armstrong in the Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resorts in Anaheim, California and Lake Buena Vista, Florida. The Norwegian company Statoil also used the song for one of their commercials, part of the song being covered by Silje Gulbranson Hagen and the latter part sung by Elton John. When Elton John and fellow singer-pianist Billy Joel tour together, their concerts are often billed as, Rocket Man meets Piano Man, the latter being a reference to one of Joel's well-known hits. Ninja Sex Party NSP covered this song on their album Under the Covers, Volume 2 released in October of 2017. It is the last song on the cover album. In February 2018, Jim Bob's Music Massacre dissected the lyrics in SO1E01 after identifying that they did not quite make sense. Topic. Used by Donald Trump with reference to Kim Jong-un In September 2017, President Donald Trump referred to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un as Rocket Man in one of his tweets, in apparent reference to the song. At their 2018 summit in Singapore, Kim Jong-un reportedly asked about the nickname, to which Trump asked if he was familiar with the song. In July 2018, some media sources reported that when Mike Pompeo went to North Korea on a diplomatic trip, he brought a CD of the song, autographed by Trump, as a gift to Kim. This was later denied by the State Department. <laughs> 